70. Things could have been different. Speaking and listening. Introduction. Starship Explorer, Captain's Diary. Date, June 16th, 2080. Position, unidentified planet. Situation, critical. Things could have been different. Things would have been different if... if... we had not answered the SOS call. Twelve days ago, the Starship Explorer was returning to Earth after a ten-year exploration of the galaxy. We picked up an SOS call from a tiny, unidentified planet. I, I gave the order to answer that call. That moment was the beginning of the end. If I had not given that order, the Explorer would still be returning to Earth, and the crew would still be alive. We discovered the origin of the SOS call. It was in a narrow valley between two mountains. We landed safely at one end of the valley. The SOS call was coming from the other end of the valley. With O'Hara, Spencer and six others, I left the Explorer. We had reached the middle of the valley when an explosion made us turn round the starship was in flames. We had no idea how or why. And we still do not understand what happened. Now, our life support systems are nearly exhausted. The only thing we know is that the end is not far away. Things could have been different. But nothing can change now. It is very cold. The sky is dark. The mountains are beautiful. There might have been an accident. Listen. What's the matter? Look at that. The traffic's not moving at all. Come on, come on. Just be patient, Henry. There might have been an accident. An accident? Yes. How do you know there's been an accident? The traffic lights might have broken down, or someone might have parked in a stupid place, or an elephant might have fallen asleep in the middle of the road. How do you know there's been an accident? Very amusing, Henry. I didn't say there has been an accident. I said there might have been an accident. It's a possibility. And if there has been an accident, someone might have been hurt. So just be quiet. We're lucky that we're OK. Oh, yes, fine. You're right. Sorry. Listen and repeat. There has been an accident. There might have been an accident. The traffic lights have broken down. The traffic lights might have broken down. Listen. Oh, come on. Henry. Sorry. You're too tense. You need to relax. Yes, I think you're right. It's a pity you didn't come skiing last weekend. You might have enjoyed it. In fact, I'm sure you would have enjoyed it. You know I can't ski. Well, you're never too old to learn. You might have discovered a new passion. Possibly. You might have had a feeling of peace with nature. Perhaps. You might have... Um... Broken my leg? <laughs> yes, you might have broken your leg. That's possible. But you would have had a great time. That's definite. OK. I'll come with you next time. Listen and repeat. 
It's a pity you didn't come skiing. You might have enjoyed it. In fact, I'm sure you would have enjoyed it. What should I have done? Listen. Oh, perhaps we should have stayed at home this evening. No, we should have taken a different road. Or we should have left at a different time. Yes. There are always problems on this road. Who suggested coming this way? You did. Oh, did I? Yes. I didn't think it was a very good idea. Well, you should have said something. I did. But you weren't listening. What should I have done? You should have taken the car keys and you should have said, I'll drive and I'll choose the route. I'll do that next time. Let's listen to the radio. Yes. Uh, it's 8.15. There's a play on Radio 4. OK. Twelve days ago, the starship Explorer was returning to Earth after a ten-year exploration of the galaxy. A ten-year exploration of the galaxy. I know exactly how they were feeling. We picked up an <laughs> SOS call. Listen and repeat. We should have stayed at home. We should have stayed at home. We should have taken a different road. We should have taken a different road. You should have said something. You should have said something. You needn't have worried. Listen. Sonia, Henry. Well, here we are. Better late than never. Come in. Are you all right? Yes. Sorry we're so late. That's OK. I'm glad you're all right. We left home at 8, so we should have been here by 8.30. Yes. At 9 o'clock, Jack and I started worrying. Well, you needn't have worried. At 9 o'clock, we were sitting comfortably, listening to a play on Radio 4, in a traffic jam. Oh, no. What was the problem? An accident? No. Fortunately, it wasn't an accident. A tree had fallen across the road. Listen and repeat. You need not have worried. You needn't have worried. You needn't have worried. Song. You shouldn't have said it.
Style. Do you remember these examples of different styles? Listen. Official style and public announcements. What is your marital status? What is your occupation? What is your country of residence? Ladies and gentlemen, you may now smoke if you wish. Smoking is not permitted in the toilets or when moving about in the cabin. Colloquial style and slang. These are my favourite songs. The sun ain't gonna shine anymore. I got you, babe. The kids are all right. And I can't get no satisfaction. Block language, in telegrams and newspaper headlines, for example. Arriving London Gatwick, flight BA763, Thursday, 1630. Explorer disappears. Queen to visit Canada. Missing children found. Airport hotel coffee shop fire drama. Synopsis. Dialogue. Morning, Lily. Morning, Mr. Jones. How are you this morning? Fine, thank you. Have you uh, heard any good jokes recently? Sorry? Have you heard any good jokes recently? It's always nice to start the day with a joke. Hmm. Oh, yes. I heard one yesterday. Mm -hmm. A little boy arrived at school at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. School started at 9 o'clock, so he was an hour late. Yes. He came into the classroom, said, Hi, everybody, and sat down. <laughs> the teacher was not very pleased. She said, Johnny, you should have been here at 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. The little boy said, Why? Did something interesting happen? <laughs> Yes. Go on. Well, that's the end. Oh, is it? Yes. Actually, I don't quite understand it. Well, the teacher said, you should have been here at nine o'clock. You should have been here at nine o'clock, yes. She meant, you're late. Nine o'clock was the time to arrive. Yes. And the little boy said, why? Did something interesting happen? Why? Did something interesting happen? Yes? Oh, oh, I see! Because you should have been here at nine o'clock can also mean it's a pity you were not here at nine o'clock. That's right. And if you had been here at nine o'clock, you would have seen something interesting. Exactly. Yes, yes, I see. Oh, oh, oh that's very good. Oh, very funny. <laughs>